Oasis is a very important part of ANSCOG. It stands for Ovarian Cancer Alliance for Signal Seeking Clinical Trials. And it's important to drill down on what that means. At present in Australia, every year more than 1,700 women are diagnosed with ovarian cancer. And sadly, more than 1,000 women die every year from ovarian cancer, despite all of our current efforts. If we kind of think about where we were and where we are now, uh, I like to say that in, in a sense the clouds have parted, right? So, you know, we tended to think of ovarian cancer as a single disease. We now know that it's multiple diseases. And maybe one way to think about that is to think about those old fashioned babushka dolls, you know, where the doll is stacked inside the doll is stacked inside the doll. So if we start with the biggest doll, ovarian cancer, and we open it up, straight away we probably get about five or six different dolls, at least. We're always trying to find out what gene is driving a particular cancer at a particular time. And what we'd prefer to do is have a drug that specifically targeted that gene. We believe that if we did that all the time, we'd have much more successful treatments available for women. So in OASIS, what we're trying to do is make sure that we bring to the surface the trials targeting cancers and using new drugs that have been designed to do that. That's what signal-seeking trials are all about. And so these are small clinical trials that are aimed to quickly translate findings from the lab into the clinic and test them appropriately in small groups of patients to see if we are seeing a signal of activity of a particular therapeutic approach. And then if we see evidence that this sort of a new approach might work, then we can start to expand that out into a larger, more conventional clinical trial. The work we do in OASIS heavily relies on philanthropic contributions. Medical research, including clinical research in Australia, does not have sufficient government funding, and particularly to do the new, smart, nimble, single-seeking studies, which are by their very nature extremely novel, really relies on us being able to reach out to philanthropists with an interest in ovarian cancer. They have such an ability to make a difference and without them, we cannot achieve anything near what we will be able to achieve with them.